conversion oh. if you still don't understand how to convert units so uh, this is uh, another way we can use it uh, to convert we know that one kilometer is equal to one thousand meter so if we had the unit in meter and we need to convert it to kilometer what we do for example if we have an x meter and we need to convert it to kilometer we multiply the number x by one and divide it over seven so we will multiply the x by one and divide it by thousand and then we will have the uh, result in kilometer let's take an example uh, how to convert 50 meter to kilometer 50 meter equal to how many kilometer so we we'll write it this way one kilometer equal to 1000 1000 meter so how many kilometer in 50 meter so what we do we multiply the 50 by the one and we divide it over over 1000 so the result will be 50 by 1 over 1000 then the result will be equal to so the zero will go with a zero so we will have 5 over 100 so it will be 0 0.05 kilo meter let's go to example number two if we have 10 kilometer and we need to convert it to a meter one kilometer equal to 1000 kilometer so 10 kilometer equal to how many meter so we multiply the 10 by the thousand and divide it over one so it will equal to 10 by 1000 over 1 so the result will be 10,000 meter example number 3 we have 0 0.6 millimeter we need to convert it to centimeter we know that 1 centimeter equal to 10 millimeter right? right so what we'll do exactly we multiply the 0 0.6 by 1 and divide it by 10 let's do that so 1 times 0 0.6 over 10 it will equal to 0 0.06 centimeter let's go to example number four 20 seconds equal to how many minutes we know that one minute equal to 60 seconds so we need to know we need to convert 20 seconds to a minute we need to know how many minutes in 20 seconds so what we'll do exactly we multiply the 20 by 1 and we'll divide it over 6 so it will be 20 times 1 over 60 so it will equal to exactly 1 over 3 seconds or we can write it 1 over 3 equal to 0 0.3 
we have 30 seconds and we need to convert it to microsecond we know that we know that one second equal to one million microsecond one second equal to one million microsecond and then we need to know 30 seconds have how many microseconds so we multiply this the 30 but by the million and divide it over one so the result will be 30 million Thirty million nano second. Is there another way to write this big number? Remember, we said that we can write this big number in a better way. And instead of thirty million, we can write three times how many zeros we have here. We have. 6 plus 1, 7 zeros. So it will be 10 times 7 the powers, uh, times 10 the power is 7 nanosecond. Let's go for example number 6. We have a 5 kilohertz and we need to convert it to We need to convert it to a megahertz. Do you know how many kilohertz in one megahertz? It's here. One megahertz equal to 1000 kilohertz. But if you don't know it, how can you find out? If you know that one megahertz equal to one, uh, one million hertz, and also we know that one kilohertz equal to 1000 hertz from this and this we can conclude that 1 megahertz equal to 1000 kilohertz so now we need to know how many megahertz in 1 kilohertz 1000 kilohertz equal to 1 megahertz we multiply 1 by 5 and divide it over 1000 so the result will be 500 divided by 1000 the zero will go with the zero so it will be 10 uh, 5 over 10 it will equal to half or 0.5 mega hertz so i need to stop for a second now and we can conclude that we convert a small unit to a big unit the number becomes smaller When we convert a big unit to a small unit, the number becomes bigger. Now, let's go to example number seven. We have 500 meter per second, and we need to convert it to kilometer their uh, microsecond so this is a complex conversion why because speed have two units distance unit for distance and unit for time and why is that because because speed um, because speed is uh, equal to the distance over the time distance over the time equal to the speed 
what other units it's have uh, it's have two units together also density because density is equal to mass over the volume first convert the unit convert the distance and then we need to convert the time so we have here a meter and we need to convert it to kilometer we know that one kilometer equal to 1000 meter so we need to know how many kilometer in one meter so what we do we multiply this by this and divide it over this so we multiply one by one it will equal to one and divide it over 1000 so one kilo one meter will equal to one over 1000 kilometer then we need to convert we need to convert the time we know that one second one second equal to one million microsecond we need to put this together the time uh, the distance and the time together and conclude from from this one here over here and this one over here we can conclude that one meter per second is equal to one over thousand for the distance over divided by divided by one million so one meter per second will equal to one uh, uh, one over thousand divided by one million kilometer per microsecond so what we're gonna do now we're gonna uh, multiply these numbers together and divide it by one let's do let's see how we can do that first we need to to multiply this number by this number and divide it over one this number is one divided by one thousand divided by one million so we can put the one million here as well because this number is over this so we can both of them can go here and we can multiply them together so it will equal to five hundred multiplied by this number which is this number so we can take the zeros together this zero is this zero so it will equal five over how many zeros we have one two three four five six seven seven zeros over ten million five over ten million kilometer per microsecond how can we write this number? We can write it two different ways. So we can write it zero point how many zeros? One, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. Or we can write it like that. Five times ten to the power of negative seven. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.